Good morning, good morning guys. Welcome back for another video. Um, I told you guys we had something big, something that was big, something that was good for this video, for the next video, which is this one. Um, yeah, it is currently Tuesday. It's Tuesday, August. What? I don't know. I lost count of days. This month's moving so fast, I lost count. <laughs> so somebody help me. <laughs> but it is 7-11 in the morning on my way to work. Um, yeah, like I said, we got something big today. So, I'm gonna just fill it out. I'm gonna do my clutch today, because my clutch is slipping, and it's slipping bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna tackle today. Um, I, got, I actually have it right there in the back seat. DKM, um, what is it? I think it's, what did I get? I think I got the MB series, so it's like, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't wanna say it's like a stage two. I don't think it is. It's a, it's a little step up, I guess. I don't know. I guess you could say it's a stage two. I guess, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But DKM clutch kit, come with the flywheel, the clutch, pressure plate, alignment tool, throw out bearing, new bolts. So it comes with all that shit, so we're good there. So shout out to the guys at BMP Tuning. Shout out to the guys at DKM. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on this clutch as far as clutch chatter, no clutch chatter. Um, I guess I'm expecting some clutch chatter. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, but we'll find out later. So with that said, I'm going to drive my ass to work. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We got the we got the beast in the shop. I'm about to do this clutch, boys. So first off, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just start to take out the intake. <clears throat> I'm gonna start to take out. I already started, but I'm gonna start to take out the intake system. Um, not sure if I have to take off the battery or not. I might just do it anyway. But and then we get further down in there, take off the shift linkage, take off all the bushings and the crap like that. But I'll show you once once we get this off. So I'm gonna do that right quick. All right, guys, a little update. Um, so, I've already taken out the battery. As you guys see, I've taken out the battery. I've taken out the battery tray. Um, take out the battery, obviously, is two tens. Um, there's a little, a little um, side piece that was holding the battery in. Um, the battery tray itself was four bolts to take out, four thirteens. There's one right here one here one there and then one right here those 413s for the battery tray you just take all that out i already removed my shifter um taking off the shifting cables so what i'm gonna do now my next step of what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take off these two 13s right here for the whole shift assembly and then there's another one hiding under here yep don't know how let me see if i can get the light down there don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that if you can. Don't know if you can see that small 13 camera won't really focus, but if you guys can see that little nut down there, that's another 13 nut, the hidden 13 nut. I'm gonna take that one off too. And then yeah, that should um bring this whole shifter assembly out sideways and then I'll just like tie it up or zip tie it or something to move it out the way. Let me know how good this angle is for you guys. I think it's pretty sick. pocket screwdriver so I can get the nut magnetized pocket screwdriver so I can get the nut and don't lose it success all right so now this whole assembly should and does come out to the side I'm gonna put it to the side I know I said I was going to tie it or zip tie it, but it looks like I don't really need to because it just stays in place, hopefully. 
if it moves, then I'll eventually tie it. But it looks like I don't have to, guys. So. Um. So. I still need to um. I still need to get the starter off. Um. Take the take your clutch line off. I um. So what I did was I actually pinched the line. So no fluid won't come out. I mean, it probably I'm probably still gonna have to bleed it, but this is so I don't have to bleed it, but I'm gonna probably still have to. Um, who know? I did lose a little bit of fluid. I don't know how well you guys can see down there. You see a little drip, little droppings down there. Um, but um, I think so far my work up here is done. Um, I'm gonna probably go ahead, and probably just start getting the surrounded the top bolts off, and like I said, get the starter off, and um. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Finally, look how long this bolt is though. Like what the hell? <laughs> now, um, I'm just gonna start, I guess I'll take the top trans bolts off. Um, do the starter bolt from the bottom. Well, yeah, I'll take this top trans bolts off. Everything else would just be from the bottom. So I'll take the, start, I'll take the bottom starter bolt from the bottom. And then everything else is just from the bottom as far as taking the trans out, obviously. Alright, see you there. Alright guys, quick thing. So, I fair to mention that this starter bolt, starter bolt is an 18. I'm pretty sure the bottom is going to be 18 too. But top one's 18. Like I said, pretty sure the bottom's 18. Um, there's a trans bolt right back there where that socket's on. That's an 18 as well. Um, this is an 18 as well or if you want to be that guy you can use the 12 point socket not sure what size that would be maybe 10 or 12. i could be wrong though but you can also use a magic 18. so i'm going to take these two top trans bolts off and then we're going to move to the bottom
Yo, Matco, come on. Sponsor your boy. All my tools are by you guys. The gun, the screwdrivers, fucking tire pressure gauge, my fucking gun, my, my flashlight, whatever that's at, is charging right now. Fucking. Come on, Matco, what y'all doing? Hit your boy up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do next, take this under take this whole under tray off. I'm gonna take the friend of well off on this side. Um, there's a bunch of these Torx, these Torx screws. Um, Torx screw, Torx socket, uh, T20, size T20. All right, guys, so a little off-camera action. Well, a lot of off-camera action went down. And um, so what I got is <laughs> everything off of me. So I got the mount off up top. There's three bolts, uh, size 18 for the mount up top. Got the axles out, of course. Got the flanges out. You're gonna need to take the flanges out. Um, there's this, there's an Allen. It's an Allen key, um, size six. Um, driver's side was much easier than the passenger side. Um, so yeah, here we, here we are right here. So I got the LSD out. Um, so yeah, so I mean this Allen key that goes in here is, goes in there really far, about 9, 10 inches. So, contraption, contrapped a little piece together with the quarter inch, with the quarter inch air ratchet and then it came out. So I got the suffering down. Uh, rack disconnected, suffering disconnected, and um, trans all the trans bolts out, trans ready to come down, clutch getting ready to re get replaced. So let's fucking do it, guys. All right, guys. So clutch is finally in there. We got uh, DKM stage two clutch, uh, pressure plate. We got a new brand new flywheel. Got the brand new throw out bearing. Uh, 
didn't show you guys before. We got the brand new flywheel bolts, brand new pressure plate bolts. Getting ready to put this hole back up in there. All uh, thanks to the help of this guy right here. I probably wouldn't have got this far without this guy. <laughs> so, thank him. So, now, let's throw this sucker back up. Hopefully it's easy. As they say. Bleed it, clutch, and then go from there. Alright guys, a little update. I mean, everything's practically back together. I'm sorry for the for the non-content um, that you guys are probably expecting and that I was expecting to make. But I've just been trying to get this stuff done. I hope you guys understand. I was just trying to hurry and get this done. Um, I'm buttoning it up a few loose ends right now, putting everything back together. I uh, just put the starter in. I just put the bottom bolt in. I need to put the top in. I need to connect the connectors. Um, um, what else? Oh, I need to connect this. I need to connect this, which is being a little B-I-T-C, you know the rest. Uh, I need to do that. Um, put the battery tray and everything else intake back on. I need to bleed the clutch. And it's done. And then put the under panels back on, put the panels back on. Like I said, I think I said it in the last clip. But, um, yeah, I mean, she's, I mean, she's there, guys. She's there. She's there. Like I said, it's just a few loose ends. But other than that, she's there. I've been working non-stop since 5 o'clock, since I got off at 5 o'clock. 5 is 10 18 now. Five straight hours non-stop, besides one bathroom break, because um, that was really urgent. <laughs> but I've been working non-stop for five hours. Um, it's really, this, this is, is, is really not that bad. And this is why I explain to people, I tell people, Volkswagens, to me, in my opinion, are the easiest German cars to work on. That's just my opinion, because I know the, I know, I know, I know the car. Um, but it's really, it's not much. It's just a lot of stuff. I mean, BMWs too. BMWs are alright too. It's just it's just a lot of stuff to take off to get where you want to, you know, to take off. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. But it's it's really not it's not hard. It's it can be frustrating, but it's not hard at all. Um, but with that said, like I said, I'm gonna just wrap everything up. A few loose ends here and there. Uh, put the battery and everything else back in there. Make sure everything's tight. I've already double checked everything as far as under here. Make sure everything's tight. Um, make sure these bottom trans bolts are tight again. Um, I got the trans bolts up top. I got everything else is practically up top. So I'm about to just finish this. And um, I guess I'll see you guys at when the car is done. I guess when I'm pulling out. I guess when I'm ready to leave. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. It is, uh, it's Sunday, 10 o'clock, 10.08 a.m. Um, I'm filming, this is, this is the outro. This is the outro to the video. I've been filming this several days later. Approximately, what, four or five days after I did my clutch Tuesday? So, what, what five days, four or five days after? Um, it's just been, it's just, like, this week has just been busy, and I've just been trying to make some things happen. But, I'm um, just now getting to this outro, um, but hey, here we are, right? <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to give my review on this clutch. So far, so far we have about, well, I had to reset the thing. So, I mean, technically I have almost 300 miles on it. I have like two, I have like two, a little under 250. So I have like 230, 240, somewhere around there on the new clutch so far since Tuesday. So I'm going to drive it. Well, we're gonna drive it together. Uh, I've driven it, but we're but we're gonna do this together, right? All right, cool. <laughs> so, um, the first thing I want to say is the clutch, the clutch chatter with this thing, um, it's pretty fucking, it's pretty freaking loud. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I'm gonna live with it because I already, I was already aware of the clutch chatter. I just didn't know it was gonna be this loud, but I'm just gonna live with it. I have to because I chose the clutch. The, it's the ch clutch that I chose um, and the reason why is because I've heard nothing besides aside from the clutch chatter I've heard nothing but good things from DKM um, so I decided to go with them and I was already aware of the clutch chatter from you know a couple of sources um, a couple of YouTube pages like Jack Cecil um, to be exact if you guys aren't <clears throat> if you guys aren't familiar with Jack Cecil um, I suggest you guys go give 
go look him up, give him subscribe to his channel. Um, uh, he has a good channel. He has a great channel. Um, I love his channel. Um, shout out to Jack Cecil. Shout out to Horsepower Logic. Shout out to those guys. Um, but yeah, Jack Cecil actually he Jack actually took a DKM clutch out of his car and put a different one in. Um, so that's how I was aware of the clutch chatter. And then I also seen other reviews as well. Like I think I, I think I said in the last video too. I may have said it. I may have said in the last video. I think I said it some. I said it. I, I said it before though about the clutch chatter. Um, but yeah, I just didn't know it was gonna be. I mean, it's not. Tr it's really. It's sometimes it's loud. Sometimes it's a little quiet. But I noticed when I had when I had the AC on, it gets really loud. So I don't know if you guys can hear it now. But this is with the AC off. Now, if I turn the AC on, you guys can probably hear the fans. I don't know how much you can hear the clutch chatter, how loud it got. Pretty sure you can hear that. It sounds like the thing, it sounds like my car has rod knock. <laughs> it sounds like it has rod knock. So, even if I had rod knock, I probably wouldn't be able to tell I did because of the clutch. Because <laughs> the clutch chatter, because it sounds just like that. But like I said, I'm gonna live with it. Um, my tip, my, the my go-to clutch brand that I that I usually always get is South Bend. Um, I love South Bend clutch kits. I love them. I love them. I love them. I always go with them. But the price for this price for a stage one, stage two clutch is just unbearable. Like, and don't get me wrong, you get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was not about to pay twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for a stage two clutch. I was not about to do that. Thirteen, twelve hundred dollars. I ain't got that kind of money to spend on a clutch kit. I wish I did. <laughs> Cause if I did, I would have went with them. But I went. I decided to go with DKM. Um, like I said, aside from the clutch shutter, I've heard you know great things about them. So I'm giving them a chance. So we're gonna. So we're gonna go. I will say this clutch is freaking. It's leg day every day. I love the stiffness, the stiffness for the clutch. Let me put on my seat belt before you guys give me crap, before anybody gives me crap. And so I don't have to hear that. That is annoying. But the clutch, like, besides the clutch chatter, I have no problem with this clutch kit at all. Like, it's great. I love the stiffness in the pedal. I'm still. Five days in, I still have to get used to it. I still gotta, you know, get the um, get the release point right. <laughs> so that, but other than that, man, this clutch is great. I love it. I love the clutch. Don't get me wrong. But aside, like I said, aside from the clutch driver, I love this clutch. I love the stiffness in the pedal. I still have to get used to the catch point. But it's great. I love it. The car pulls so much harder, like it pulls so much harder now that I have the new clutch in. Now that I have the, now that I have, I have my car exactly where I want it now. All I need is like wheels and a few little other things and then the, all I need is wheels and a tune. I'm still breaking it, I'm still in the break-in process by the way, so 500 miles is what I'm, go is what I'm shooting for. But it's like, it's, it's something like, <laughs> it's hard to resist. But you know, experts say, and I and I kind of agree with this too, um, that when breaking in the clutch, drive it how you would normally like you know drive your car. You know, drive it how you drive it how you normally would drive your car. I mean, don't don't go like too overboard. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go extremely overboard with it. You know what I'm saying? But drive it how you drive it how you would normally drive it. So that's exactly what the heck I'm doing. But let me know. Let me let me know if you guys have a DKM clutch in your car and how's the clutch chatter. Let me know what you guys have heard. Um, let me know what you guys. Let me know what you guys usually go with as far as clutch kits. Who do you go with? Like South Bend or ACT? I think I would have went with ACT. I don't. I don't know. From what I've seen, I haven't seen anything from them as far as for my car for the Mark Seven GTIs. I don't know if ACT makes. I know ACT makes some great clutches. Kind of loud. 
it is such a beautiful day outside. It's 70, 70, 74 degrees. It's nice out. It's a beautiful day. So I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day by driving my beautiful car. But like, where was I? Yeah, so ACT. Like I said, this my brand that I usually go with is South Bend. But I was not about to pay fourteen fifty hundred dollars And this DKM clutch was the MB series was eight hundred dollars. So that difference, that's what five six hundred dollar difference. So <laughs> yeah. But um, let me know which. Let me go, let me know the clutch kits you guys go with. Let me know what you guys think about DKM DKM. Sorry, DKM. Let me know what you guys think about the clutch chatter. Um. It's great though, man. I mean, so far, well, besides the chatter, I have no complaints with it at all besides the chatter. But the chatter is a bit loud. DKM, what's up? I mean, what's up with that, guys? Let me know. I just I just want to know. <laughs> There's a freaking ape gen Civic beside me. I think he's trying to race it. I'll dog that shit. I'm just letting you guys know, this is the outro to this video, this long 8 minute video, well, this, eight, <laughs> this long 8 minute outro, <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys, let me know what you guys think, let me know the clutch kits you guys used to go with, um, for all my Mark 7 guys and girls out there, let me know what clutch kits that you guys have went with and maybe, you know, work something out, but DKM, let me know what's up with that cl this clutch chatter, like why? Why did you guys make it make it to be this way? I'd really like to know. But yeah, like, but thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. As far as me going with DKM, as far as me not going with like South Bend or ACT or you know, comment down below other brands as well. I would love to hear some more options. <coughs> Maybe I'll give another. Maybe I'll give a quick walk around the car too, just because it's sitting exactly where I've raised the rear up since the last time you guys seen it from the last video. I've raised the rear up maybe about a half, maybe maybe about a half an inch more. Um, so it's like it's sitting exactly where I want it to. But H two O is coming up, so I might lower it again. Who knows? Maybe H two O is coming up real soon and fast, so I may lower it again. But you see, it's quiet now. Every time I um when I when the clutch is engaged, the noise goes away and when it's disengaged it's there. DKM, what's up with that? Let me know. I would really I would really like to know the backstory to that. To the why it's like this. But yeah guys, that's that's gonna be the end of the video. I might give a little walk around. Um but yeah. The like I mean like I've said before prior, like I said before, besides the clutch chatter. I'm, I love this clutch. I'm in love with it so far. You know, five days in. I mean, <clears throat> and then maybe that's another thing too. I'm only five. I'm only five days in. I'm only 200, 200, 250 miles into the clutch, breaking the clutch in. So maybe I have to fully break it in to get less chatter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But. That's it for this video, guys. If you guys like this video, let me know. Give it a thumbs up, please. Like, comment, subscribe. Shit, hell, turn turn your damn notifications on that bell. You know what I'm saying? Click that. I'm trying to upload at least once a week. Um, I think that'd be good. I think that should be a that'd be a good schedule. Um, and so I really get some nice content for you guys, and I would love to be I would love to do this daily, a daily vlogger, but. Yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. See you guys in the next one. Um, if you guys don't see a walk around at, after this, then that's the end of it. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys for all your support. Um, speaking of support, sorry. I coming out with some. I may be coming out with some shirts. Or some more shirts. Sorry, Apple Watch going off. I'm sorry. Um, I've dropped, I've dropped, I dropped uh, some merch. 
not too long ago, probably a few months back. Um, this is a little test run. Um, I think about changing. It was a little test run. Shout out to the people who have bought shirts from me. Um, they were just little test runs. So people have gotten those. I'm thinking about changing up the design and actually making it official. Um, so I'm going to change up the design. I'm obviously going to let you guys know, of course. But I'm going to change up the design. I'm going to change up the shirt, the fabrics, things like that. And I'm just going to get the ball rolling. So we're definitely going to get some Mark 7 gear out there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll let you guys know what's up with that. Uh, I'll probably make another video about that in the next one and later. So that's it, guys. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Please. And thank you. Much love. Peace. See you guys in the next one.